Hi again, welcome to another cooking video. Um, we all know about bannock and you have seen us make uh, videos a lot of times, me and Mike. But sometimes, you know, it doesn't have to be dull. You can put, you know, something else. For today's recipe, I'm going to try and put some dried cranberries. So the ingredients are very simple. We have flour, milk, dried cranberries, um, baking powder. I have some, some people use uh, grease, like bacon grease, but I have, I have coconut oil. So I have a little bit of salt and a little bit of sugar. So what we're going to do now is we're going to mix all the dry ingredients first. Okay, let's do this. I'm just going to mix the three first. I'm going to add my cranberries. You can put more if you want. And I'm going to add my oil. I have used some uh, bacon grease before. Or if you don't have any coconut oil or uh, you can use also some normal oil that you have at your place. So we're just going to mix this together and I'll be back. So now I'm going to use my hands to finish it, you know, uh, to mix. make sure you mix it well. Now some people like it uh, chewy and some like it, you know, dry, but it's totally up to you how you want it. Okay, so now I have my bannock. Now, um, I don't know if you have seen some of our videos, but when we go outside, me and Mike, I just take the whole thing and I just, you know, flatten it and just slowly cook it in a pan. But because I'm home, I'm going to divide it into two. There you go. And I have a counter here that I have some flour. I'm just going to do that. So this is how I will cook it today, but uh, if you like, you don't have to flatten it that much. And, but remember that it's going to take a longer time to cook. So now I have my pan right here. It's been heating. It's, it's a low heat. You know, you don't want it too high. You don't want to burn it. So it looks like a big cookie, isn't it? <laughs> but so now I'm going to put it in there and let so, it cook. <clears throat> what I did with the pan is I uh, just greased it or butter it or oil it depending on how you want it But I have a little bit of oil in my pan and what I'm doing right now is I'm cooking it very slowly Because a lot of times, you know, you see the bannock is so burnt outside and and the inside is like half cooked So I'm just cooking it slowly and it's supposed to double a little bit in size and then I'll turn it after So as you can see, it's uh, doubled a little bit so now we're going to check it, check the other side and we'll turn it and cook the other side. Oh, yummy. Look at that. So this is the finished product. And you know what's fun about bannock is that you can just put anything that, you know, you want in the bannock. Sometimes I made it with dates too. So, um... I have some homemade beans at the same time with it. It's gonna be yummy. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please, uh, you know, don't be shy, write them below. And also, if you want full details of this recipe, go check my website. Thanks for watching.